I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars for October Aquarius. Now this is a very busy month for you career-wise, in fact you can have chance meetings this month so you know is there really such a thing as a chance meeting or is it destined? Well you can be the judge of that but you can just almost be at the right place at the right time type of feeling so watch for that. Now let's have a look at your career and money. There's an abundance of planets and activity coming and going and aspects affecting it right there in your career zone, your solar 10th house. So you want to stay clear with your next steps because when there's so much activity like this, it means that there's a lot happening and it's easy to get off track. It's easy to, you want to like just cut and make sure your peripheral vision doesn't like go off in this direction, off in that direction. And before you know it, you, you know, had a lot of activity but no productivity, okay? So you want to be proactive but stay assertive and, and stay on course. Now Saturn will move into your solar 10th house of career and business on the 6th of this month. It's going to stay there for a two year stay. So you're in for a couple of years of hard work but you will build solid foundations for your business, okay? So Saturn, you know, is known as the planet of boundaries and restrictions, but it's also known as the planet of business and it builds up. And so, you know, whatever happens under a Saturn vibration, it's really like, it's really solid. So, you know, that there's always, uh, you know, if you've been watching me for a while, then you know I'm, I often speak about the benefits and the drawbacks, you know, there's a positive and a negative of, of everything. So there's your positive and negative of, of Saturn over the next couple of years. Now money wise, Venus and your third on the third moves into your eighth house. Now this is like a, your second money position and um, you could connect with someone about official matters if you've been waiting for something of, official. Uh, or more of a government standing to come through, then this can happen over this period of time. Now love and romance, Venus in your seventh house early in the month. So the love vibration is still there. If you're looking for love, then you know, don't spend all your time uh, you know, at home and focusing on business, get out and about as well. It will transit to your third house and on the third, uh, on your eighth house, I'm sorry, on the third as I just mentioned. And at this time when we have a look at it in relation to relationships and love, um, you need to be careful about money issues. So, um, you know, money is important in every area of our lives but you don't want to elevate it too far that you miss out on or walk away from something that's good on a heart love level. Now Venus and Neptune are, are opposite this month too. There's an op opposition with the two. So you want to see a situation for how it is and not how you want it to be. Okay so be you know be careful you don't sort of gloss over um, you know, a person's actions or situation and think, oh, you know, it's all okay when it really isn't all okay, all right? So stay connected at a heart level and that's, that's how you will know if it's right or wrong for you. I mean, there's no really right or wrong. It's entirely up to you, Aquarius, okay? Now, your lucky numbers for the month are 5, 6, 22 and 23. And I've put down your most dynamic day is the 5th. This is when Mercury and Saturn um, transit to, into your 10th house of business and they're conjunct. So this is a period of the month where you can literally stand up and be heard. You can literally make your mark this month. Okay, so do so. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you next month.